Yo, 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 what's up party people? Today we are going to talk about something important, how to get your first web developer job without any experience. So not too long ago, I was in the same boat as you are right now. At least I'm assuming that you are either learning web development or are looking for a job at the moment. But I was in the same boat because I didn't have any relevant work experience whatsoever and I was trying to land my first web developer job. So in this video, I will share some tips with you, some things I did do, some things I regret I didn't do that will definitely increase your chances of getting hired as soon as possible. The most important thing is to know your craft. So by now you probably already have a good idea of what you like most or what you want to do, right? So roughly front end development, back end development or full stack web development. What I highly recommend you to do is to go on some popular job searching websites in your area, in my area, it was mainly LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, and try to find job openings and try to read them, right? What is in the job description? What are the requirements in terms of technologies and tools that you need to know? And this can differ a lot from place to place, both on an international and national level. So what might be very common for, let's say a React developer to know in the US might be very different for, you know, react job openings in germany and try to focus on the main technologies and tools that you're see being listed and make sure that you're able to use them that you understand how they work and if you want to learn these things right there is like you know youtube courses there are paid courses um blogs tech talks podcasts official documentation and so on so there's a lot of resources where you can learn from but make sure that you know your craft. Prepare answers to common interview questions. And this, for example, includes the more technical kind of questions. So if you're looking to, I don't know, become like a React developer, then just go out and Google and search for, you know, the most popular React interview questions. And you'll probably find a lot of blog posts that will list 20, 50, 100 interview questions. Just make sure that you're able to answer those questions but also prepare for like the more common most often more personal oriented questions like you know where do you see yourself in five years from now uh why would you like to work here can you tell me a little bit more about yourself right make sure that you come well prepared to the interview if you don't have experience try to get some experience if you have the time try to do some maybe some small gigs on at work, Fiverr, maybe you have some friends that want to have a website or an application build. Like these are great places to get some real world experience. And you have to understand that this is not the moment to make a lot of money out of web development, right? Nobody at this point is going to pay you a lot of money, but it's just for the sake of gaining experience and having something to put into your portfolio. And of course you can also try to, you know, participate and contribute to open source projects, which is also a great way to gain experience. Get involved in some online communities. There's literally dozens and dozens of great Discord and Slack web development channels, which is great for connecting with people that do the same thing you like to do, programming, web development. So- Yo, what? He hasn't joined our Discord channel yet. What? You haven't joined my Discord channel yet? Check out the link down in the description. Work on your soft skills. Most of the times your first interview will be with an HR lady. I, I'd say nine out of 10 times. And you have to understand that these people, nine out of 10 times, literally have no idea what you're actually doing, right? They're not able to test your programming skills. However, these people are more focused to get to know you and see if you are a good fit with the company and soft skills do really well in these kind of interviews, right? Especially because it's most of the time, the very first interview you have, if you leave a good impression, you know, the HR people will be excited to, you know, introduce you to maybe like a developer that's going to take the second interview or something like that, but it always leaves a good impression. Create a great portfolio. This is so important because it's the only tangible thing you have to offer, right? You don't have any, references of previous jobs or whatsoever. So, and make sure you have created some great projects, right? If you're, for example, into front-end development, 
you see a lot of tutorials they create calculators and to do apps and well that's great for you getting to understand the technologies it's not going to impress anyone when you're applying for jobs so make sure that you at least have one two three you know larger skill projects in your portfolio this could be like e-commerce shops or um like social platforms but things that have like you know a lot of routes just larger code bases essentially where you can really show off your skills and i can also recommend you to make sure that they are accessible for everyone so what i for example did is that for every project on github i put in a very concise and clear description of what the app could actually do and i also put like a video in there where i was showcasing the app so even people from hr could understand what i've made without having to dive into the code which i obviously would not understand anyway create a personal site there's a lot of great examples out there on for example dribble and figma and there's even like paid ones on theme forest or maybe you can even come up with one yourself and try to add some nice content to the site like about who you are what you know maybe you can showcase some of your projects you made um maybe you can write a few blog posts i mean these are things that people will generally like because it shows that you are really interested in programming make sure your linkedin profile looks good make sure you have like a nice professional image of yourself you know like not these awkward boomer selfies make sure you have a small concise description about yourself right so don't have like like a huge amount of text no one likes to read it keep it short keep it simple just list like hey i'm a web developer and i'm specialized in like maybe the mern stack or react or node whatsoever whatever you aspire to do and of course an up-to-date timeline with your previous job experiences even if they are not related to web development your degrees if you have them and certificates and of course you can also include a few programming courses but don't overdo it putting like one course on there makes it look a lot more professional than listing like the last 25 courses you did because people will think that the courses you actually did are just a joke wait a second you haven't checked out my free react course right here on youtube check it out so applying to jobs is by far the easiest part like i said before take a look on popular job searching websites maybe linkedin or indeed or some other you know platforms that are popular in your area and make sure you have a good resume and a good cover letter as well make sure that you are able to make edits easily so you can tailor you know each of those documents accordingly for the job you're applying to also check if you can activate alerts for new job postings in your area so you can get notified most of the time by email when a new job position comes out so you can be one of the very first people that are applying to those jobs respond quickly accept all connection requests because at this point it's key to grow your network so at first it will seem like impossible to land a job because you're going to get so many rejections you know recruiters are going to tell you that you don't have enough experience you don't have a you know computer science degree all kinds of things like that so you know that's part of the process don't take it personal like everyone that is trying to land his first job is going to experience that without having any prior experience or a relevant degree but in the end you will only need one company that's willing to hire you but nonetheless see every contact with a recruiter as an opportunity to become better in applying for jobs just don't give up you're gonna make it if you like the video please subscribe like and if you have any questions let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.